Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're playing Good King Wenceslas from 101 Christmas Violin Songs by Hal Leonard. I'll play it for you first. sounding by structuring your bowing and perhaps you've already observed a little bit how I did that and of course this is a fairly easy song to play for most violinists but you can enhance your sound by really thinking about your bowing technique and I as a violin teacher obviously will want to give you something extra with this video rather than just play the song I want you to get out of your violin technique a little bit more so what I'm suggesting you're going to be doing is to start at the lower half of the bow here. Then use the whole bow on this D to go to the upper half. And now I want, I want you to stay at the upper half of the bow. And then you get the upper half again here. very very tricky to play at the lower half of the bow and I can understand that there are many violinists who would much rather play at the middle or at the upper half of the bow but it's a real asset to your playing if you could develop that a little bit more and I'll give you a suggestion about how you can prob probably do that first of all we need to just jump, double check your bow hold and I want you to check that you've got your thumb bent underneath so my thumb is shaped like that and my middle finger is precisely opposite my thumb. Then I'm putting all my fingers down in such a way that I've got a space here and a space there. And that allows my little finger to go really nice and round. And perhaps you can see that. And it's this flexibility in your fingers that is going to allow you to play further towards the lower half of the bow. And if you find playing at the heel of the bow a real challenge then why don't you try going a little bit towards the heel so if you normally play in this area of the bow try and allow yourself another 10 centimeters closer to the heel of the bow and really work on that flexibility in your bow hold once you get that going you can try then further to, to go further towards the heel of the bow so let's now try it and let's try and soften up the fingers of your bow hand. Just give them a little wriggle like that. See if you can manage that. All that time, make sure that your shoulder is nice and low. Okay, so set yourself up properly at the lower half of the bow. And we're going to go slowly and try this, okay? Will you join in with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four. the upper half of the bow and here we go when you get to the heel here see if you can make that connection can you see that 
So my little finger is just carrying the bow for a moment before I then relax it again. Up a half. find that becomes a little bit easier so I suggest you keep trying this now I've got another little challenge for you and we're going to just play the last three notes and I'll show you what your challenge is so we're starting here with your fingers bent if this is you see if you can soften up those fingers a little bit especially your pinky and let go of it you won't drop your bow because it's resting on the string you see so you can see I, I hardly hold the bow at all Okay, so once you're ready here, let's play a long bow, and back, and now, I'm letting, I'm allowing my bow to, as it were, fall into the D string, can you see that? I'm not doing anything that much with my pinky, but I'm letting it go, so I'm relaxing my bow hand, because that end of the bow is so long, it will fall into the D string like that and that will give you really nice bowing allow it to go shall we try that again? let's do up bow on the C okay pivot on your thumb and you just allow it to fall into the D string Now that is easier said than done and what you might do is practice some strength here on the side of your hand by moving your bow up, so I'm having my bow vertical like this and I'm going to move my bow up higher Then it's easier to squeeze your fingers and really put the tension on your muscle there and now you relax it and up again, squeeze it and release and squeeze and release and that exercise is great for trying to develop this muscle here with which you can allow that bow to fall into the D string okay enough about your right hand because it's Christmas time so we want to have some fun playing as well but and so we all will play the whole song once again a little bit faster and this time I want you to work on your long bows and especially your long down bows I really want you to stretch that bow hand forwards if you can so here we go from the beginning one two three four with your bow hand that was really very nice well done now I would like you for those people who still play with their fingers far away from the fingerboard can I suggest you play with your fingers hovering above the strings 
and this is really lovely to practice in this piece because we can stay on the D string for about a line and a half before we go on to another string you see so really hover your fingers right above that D string by bringing your knuckles here level with the E string so uh, if you, this is you bring it further round and hoist your fingers up a little bit so that more of your finger is over and above the fingerboard now hover all your fingers above the D string one two, three, four. in a short space of time very well done if you've enjoyed this video please share it with your friends if you've got any questions or comments do please use the comments section below this video I do get to see these comments so I will respond to you I look forward to seeing you again very soon goodbye and Merry Christmas <laughs>